Today I'm going to show you what I'm doing to the stock and I'm using boiled linseed oil and I'm rubbing it into the stock. If you look closely you can see worn patches, worn spots, scratches, chips, there's a bunch of little dots, worn areas from being gripped around the grip. This side is actually the worst side. Um, this side has a bunch of little dots and some scraping. But I started on this side two days ago. Today will be the third day. I already put two coats of boiled linseed oil on it and hand rubbed it in and it soaked in. And the reason I wait a day between the coats is so that it dries and soaks in. You don't want to put it on really heavy. You want to rub it into the surface and then let it sit for a minute and then skim off any thick fat excess and you also want to let it dry completely before you try to add another coat. So I'm going to very quickly show you what I'm doing. I start with a little drop on my finger and I'll start in one area and just rub and sort of spread it out. And you want to take special care for the actual gaps in the finish. What I'm trying to do is fill in the gaps in the finish on this. I'm not sanding this finish. I'm not going to sand the stock and refinish it that way. I'm trying to fill in the wood grain where there is no shellac or finish, whatever that kind of finish is. So I'm taking special care to rub into those open grains that don't have the finish on top of them and I'm figuring it's going to take at least seven maybe ten coats to get this where I want it. What I don't want is a thick buildup of linseed oil where there is shellac or finish whatever kind of gun finish this is. I don't want a thick buildup on there. I want it to soak into these open spots and cracks and I want it to soak down into the wood and over time those bare spots, and I've already seen a change in the grain just after two coats, those bare spots will fill in, sort of fill up and fill in, and the grain where it's bare and naked like that will level up a little bit and it'll smooth over and the finish will end up looking much nicer. Now since I'm not sanding it and I'm not refinishing it, so to speak, it's never going to look perfect and smooth and glass-like unless I sand it or do something to the surface to sort of level everything out. But I don't want to do that. I just want to fill it in and see how it comes out. Now if it soaks in really quick because it's dry, you can go ahead and do a quick second coat right away. And as long as it doesn't stay on there thick, you'll be alright. Like right now, this is almost dry to the touch. That's how thin the coat is that's on here. I will keep you guys posted as I progress. I'll probably put six or seven more coats on this before I show you another video of what the stock looks like. You'll let this one dry for a day and then put another coat on it tomorrow. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.